Greetings. Welcome to IDC 6010, Writing Across Media for Spring 2015. I'm Dr. Jeannie Bohannon, and I am your professor of record for this course. I wanted to start with a video that talked about where you need to go before you start our course. So if we start on our course homepage, what you will see is you will see the title, you will see news, content browser, calendar, and external learning tools. These are four important items that you need to be familiar with and you need to keep up with during the semester. The first item is the news tool. Any piece of news, any announcement, anything that pertains to this course that needs to go out to everyone, I will put here in the news tool. You'll see the first item, of course, is course content, letting you know that course content was available yesterday and which textbook you need to purchase. I did get an email from one student uh, saying that the student ac uh, accidentally purchased the third edition. This has been an issue with SPSU slash KSU Bookstore. So what I need you to do, though, is check the ISBN, and I gave you a link to Amazon to buy the new edition. Typically, I don't ask students to buy new editions because I have once been a grad student, and I know that it's no fun to spend lots and lots of money on books. In fact, in one of my graduate classes at Georgia State University, I spent $160 on books for one class. So I totally understand and, and am, um, am sympathetic to that. But this book is, I think, $44 new. And the reason I want you to buy the fourth edition is because the fourth edition of this book comes with accompanying web content and web resources that we will be using. And these are resources that are important to you as you look at uh, critically analyzing and producing writing across diverse types of media. And as you take what you learn here in the academic context and apply it to your professional lives. That's what's key for me, is providing you with information and content that you can take from an academic context and apply to your professional careers. So that's why I want you to buy the fourth edition. So here we are, course content, news, remember important information there. Read this, click here. Uh, the SPSU bookstore might have the fourth edition by now, but uh, maybe not. And we are starting this week, so it's going to be very important for you to have the fourth edition of our text, Writing for Visual Media by Anthony Friedman, this week. Second thing I want to draw your attention to is the content browser. Everything you need to know in terms of content for this class, you will find in the content browser. I have set this course up in, in a modular arrangement. So the first thing you'll click on here is course policies. These are important documents that as a graduate student you need to be able to understand and synthesize the information so that you know what to expect from me as your professor in terms of grading and also from you in terms of what the performance, the performance expectations are for you as a grad student. So under course policies we have course information which is grad school talk for syllabus so you'll want to make sure that you read through that entire document and that you understand all policies and all criteria and expectations for you. Grading criteria, very similar to other courses you have had at SPSU for graduate school. Anything less than a B does not pass the course, so you want to make sure that you read that and that you are demonstrating competency, which is a B or better, in all of your writing. Um, also, you'll want to look at writing discussions and a professionalism statement because graduate school is always about preparing you to be an academic or career corporate professional in whatever career you choose to be a professional in. So you'll want to make sure that you read through all of these. And if you have any questions about them once you read through them, please send me an email and I will also create a discussion forum that will stay up all semester that uh, serves as a portal for you to be able to ask questions both of me and of your colleagues. So once that's created, which should be tonight, um, make sure that you subscribe to that as well. So also in our content browser, you will see our table of contents. You will also see that there's a module for every week that we have in the course. For every week we have in the course, 
There we go. We have discussions. If you look in our course policies, you will see the deadline for posting weekly discussions in order to get credit. I operate this course off of what I call a 500 slash 150 model, and those are minimum word counts. So what you'll want to make sure you're doing is you will click on each week's discussion, respond to my prompt, and then what you'll do from there is you'll start a new thread respond to my prompt in a minimum of 500 words. And there's research behind that that says that uh, scholars, uh, particularly in academia, uh, but also in, in professional context, cannot make a good argument in less than 500 words. So 500 words minimum, more words, always welcome. So you'll respond to the weekly prompt by the deadline set forth in course policies. And then you will respond in 150 words to one of your course mates' responses to me. So I hope you understand that. Every week, we call it a 500 slash 150 model. You respond initially in 500 words, and then you respond to a course mate in a minimum of 150 words. So let's go back to the table of contents, and you'll see that we have these for every single week. So every single week is a course discussion, and because this is graduate school, course discussions are graded. If you cite sources uh, within your course discussions, you'll see this in course policies, we operate under uh, APA guidelines, and that's very typical of graduate school as well. So let's go back to the course homepage and talk about the calendar. So anything that has a due date is on this calendar. Major assignments are on this calendar. You will see uh, when things are due. And not all discussions are on here. These are major assignments. So for example, your first major assignment is due January 23rd, and it's multimodal blog posting. And there is an assignment sheet for the multimodal blog post. And you can go to Dropbox and you can see where everything is there as well. And when you click on multimodal blog post, you will see, pardon that, I monitor my child's, uh, my teenager's messaging. And so you'll have to excuse that. One of his friends obviously doesn't know how to use appropriate language. Um, that might be something fun for us to analyze as well. So what you see here, all of these things have, all of these major assignments have uh, assignment sheets linked to them. So I think I pretty much put everything in here that you need. But of course, I've also put um, Blackboard Collaborate on here. And so if we decide as a group that we want to meet, let's say, you know, one day during the week in cyberspace, we can use Blackboard Collaborate to do that. You'll also use Blackboard Collaborate when you're presenting your podcast PSA and your Prezi to the class. So if you want to know how you do that, um, I've embedded it in the class. There are all kinds of ways for you to look at the handout and how you use that. We will be using Blackboard Collaborate because we're now part of KSU. KSU no longer uses Wimbra or um, McGraw-Hill campus, so we are going to use Blackboard Collaborate. So there's the calendar, and there, um, here's where you can also see emails, and you can always see your grades because I keep grades updated um, pretty regularly because I believe that's important uh, for me to provide that to you to make sure that you know where you stand at any given time in the course. So here's your uh, kind of makeshift introduction to the course. Um, sorry it's not uh, a fabulous incredible video but we don't have support for that on the SPSU campus anymore so what you get is a rambling crazy professor. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Be sure that you respond uh, one of your classmates has already responded to week one discussions. Introduce yourself to all of us, and if you haven't already, uh, find a representative photograph, professional photograph of yourself, and put it here. You'll see mine. And um, I look forward to seeing you in the discussions beginning tomorrow.